Down the start finish straight we go. Fraga leads the way from your hall with that half second penalty. Biazono pulls out on Cockerburn. They go side by side down towards the first corner. Into the left hander is the super on the inside. Labounier is going to come here as well as Cockerburn gets hung out to dry in the Mazda. Off the circuit almost there. Just about gets it back on on the straight and narrow. Loses a position. Labounier is on the inside of Miazono. And now you can see the, the uh, Jaguar as well of Andrew Brooks getting involved in the party. He's now up the inside of Miazono. So Cockerburn and Miazono going backwards. Here comes Benelli and Giorgio Mangino ready to join the party as well. It's frantic stations in the mid back here. Nicely done there. Oh, Sternberg though, he's going to come out side by side here with Callum Jones. Hopefully this won't hold him up too much, but he's going to be a lot, a lot quicker. Uh, you would imagine there, Sternberg, but Baptiste Beauvoir has also made his pit stop and could be ready to try and profit here on the inside of the Volkswagen Beetle. They're going to go side by side nearly. Oh, there's not a lot of room going through there. Callum Jones on the inside there. He's entitled to hold his line as he is. Here comes Sternberg down the inside then of Jones and through into fourth position. That's crucial there for Sternberg and Beauvoir takes a join of the party as well as they come side by side now. So it's fourth place up for grabs here for Baptiste Beauvoir and he's really doing everything he can to try and put that pressure onto Sternberg to try and hold off, uh, to try and get himself through into fourth place here. You're in the train, you go, well, am I going to make the move for Portier? goes, actually, you know what, I am now, let's get this done. Goes up the inside of Viseri, we'll have the uh, the quicker line now into the S's going down the hill. Fabian Portier there showing some of that old magic that we used to see back in the day and now finally starting to tap back into it again now is the Chilean driver as he now heads this train of four cars. Let's see uh, if he's able to keep the place coming down the hill here. Regalard now having a look at Isera too. Isera looking to try and go up the inside two by two now, coming down to the bottom of the hill. Isera's got the right line here. Regalard might be able to follow him through. It looks like Portier might have hung himself up to dry here by going for that move earlier on. He has, so now he is the one under attack as Regalard is pushing Isera up the hill here. Portier is stuck on the outside line. Nothing he can do there apart from wait. And I think now, although he managed to take six at the start of lap, he's now going to lose two, maybe even three places to Randall Hayward behind. This might be it, Krepchenko didn't expect that, I don't think. It was very late on the brakes, now it's going to be a drag race up the hill. I think Sternberg's going to have it, it's going to be on the outside for the left hander, but will be on the inside, most importantly, for this tight right coming up. Sweeps around the outside of Krepchenko, I think Sternberg there has got it done, wait for it on the brakes. Yes, yeah, Sternberg up into P2, Krepchenko held on for as long as he could, but had to settle for P3 there. Very decisive move there from Roberto Sternberg, great driving for the Volkswagen. Krepchenko's not done though, sneaks a wheel up the inside, they run side by side through the left-hander. Sternberg now is going to be on the inside line. They're going to flick it right. Krevchenko's on the outside. Krevchenko's now ahead. Very aggressively chops the nose off of the Volkswagen as they come in towards the right-hander. This is Christmas come early for Yamanaka. He's 3.7 seconds up the road as it stands at the moment. You can see in the background as well, very close indeed. But look at this battle still for second as Sternberg has got the outside line. Now the inside line. He's got great corner speed there, but no room to try and use it. Krevchenko's doing a great job of holding on to second position. They're coming down then in towards the Final sector, Sternberg's on the inside, Krevchenko's wide, and Krevchenko loses out as Sternberg goes through into P2. Brilliant driving. Lopez is really close onto the back of Jose Serrano here. Through the right hander they go. And look at Gallon on the outside there. Serrano's got defensive. Lopez in the middle. They're in a bit of a sandwich as they stand. Bit of contact between Lopez and Gallon going through there. In towards the right hander. Lopez on the inside of Serrano for second place. Can he make the move stick? There was contact there. Serrano goes off the track. Gallon's on the outside line and goes through into third place. And that's going to try and be second as they come down the hill. In towards the final sector. Gallon's on the inside line. But it's Hiroshi Okamoto who wins the race in the okay. Volkswagen and second place is okay. going to go the way of Jeff yes. Gallon but what about Lopez then? He slowed down, surely he slowed down before the line there and let Serrano through.